everybody, so today I'm going to be making the third video in my Apply to College series. So, just to recap, in my first video I talked about what schools I applied to and what the applications were like. In my last video I talked about which schools I've been accepted to. And in this video I will be talking about open houses versus campus visits. So. Last week, or the week before, I was in Colloway visiting Western Carolina University and I was there for a campus visit and you can just go online to whichever school you want to see and you can register for a campus visit. They are usually Monday through Friday. For Western Carolina there was one at 10 and one at 2 and you can also have group visits or you can go for a Saturday tour, I believe. So, I got there, and there were only two other people in my group. Because it was their fall break, so I guess people wanted to come visit when they were actually students on campus. So we got there at 10, and we just walked around the campus and heard from the students. And... <laughs> That's pretty much it. Just walk around the school. You could ask questions. We were able to see the different departments. We were able to see the rec center, cafeteria, dorms. We didn't see the football field. And it lasted two hours. And it was important to wear comfortable shoes since we were standing most of the time. So. Two, no, yesterday was the East Carolina Open House up in Greenville. So registration started a while back and they said how they were expecting about 6,000 people. And so I stayed the night in Greenville the night before since registration started at 7.30. So I got to the stadium and we parked in that parking lot. And then we walked inside and we got our name tags. And then they had the student affairs fair. And so they had different information about the school, like the different clubs, the different school departments, the different subject departments. And there were tons of people to talk to. And since it was, it was in the, um, around the basketball arena. I'm sorry this is kind of jumbly. I'm just trying to remember things and say them out loud. So after the student affairs fair, you went on a bus and you went to campus and there were different little seminars you can go to. And what was really helpful was that they had an app and I will tell you what it was. The app is called Guidebook and it's free on iTunes or in the App Store. And you can just see all the things that they had planned. So for example, so like I said, you checked in at 7.30 until 9.30 and then from 8 to 11.30 was the Academic and Student Affairs Fair. And then you can also go to the student store and get merchandise if you would like to. Well, yeah, merchandise. And I got a shirt, and my dad got a shirt for my mom. So, like I said, after that fair, I went on a bus to the main campus, and they had an admissions information session. And then after that, they had, it's called Ask a Pirate, Current Student to Parent. I didn't go to that one. After that, they had financial aid and university scholarships. I was also able to see the cheerleaders, the dance team, and the marching band. After that, I went on a walking campus tour. And then they also had a tour of the Army ROTC facilities, but I didn't see those because I'm not interested. There's also a tour of the library, and I didn't think it was a big deal, but apparently the library is four store. Four stories high. I had no idea. And then 
After that, I went to the Campus Living and Dining information session, and that was just about the different dorms and the different meal plans. And then after that, I just got a tour of two of the dorms. So after going to East Carolina's open house, I am 99% sure that I will be attending ECU next fall, and it's really exciting, but I just need to get through this school year first. It's like, I'm so excited to go to school in Greenville that I need to slow down and just try to enjoy these last couple months as a high school student, but I have senioritis kicking in right now, but I'm working on it. I just finished some school stuff before I made this video, so I'm sorry this video is all over the place. I hope it was somewhat helpful. Helpful, Basically, with the campus tour, at least in my experience, you were really just able to talk to about three students. And then with the open house, we were also able to talk to students. And then there were also, like, administrators, I guess. So, I just had this feeling whenever I was on the ECU campus that this is where I needed to be. It's a really beautiful campus, and I just love it there. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!